Hello, Chirins. Mr. Bruce here. We're off at Garden Preschool this week, but we're still going to have a book, eat, book once a day. And I've got a new, yes, a new Peppa Pig book. So once again, we'll be extending Peppa Pig Week. But before we start, we have certain rules we must obey. Eyes at all times will be watching. Ears listening. Voice is quiet and body calm. Story number one is obviously called the story of Peppa Pig. And there she is. Once upon a time, there was a lovable, slightly bossy little piggy named Peppa. And she said, grunt, grunt. More than anything in the whole world, Peppa loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I don't know what it is about kids and pigs, but muddy puddles is the way to go. Mummy Pig was Peppa's mummy, and she was very wise. She would say, Peppa, when you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Daddy Pig was Peppa's daddy, and he loved eating cookies and had a big round tummy. When Daddy Pig jumped in muddy puddles, he made a very big muddy splash, and that splash went... When Peppa's little brother George was born... Peppa helped look after him. What a good sister. As soon as George was old enough, Peppa taught him how to jump in muddy puddles. George, Peppa said, just like Mummy Pig, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must, must, must wear your boots. George liked muddy puddles, but he liked his Mr. Dinosaur even more. Even though George couldn't speak yet, he could say one word very well, and that word was dine saw, die saw. Sometimes Peppa got a little bit annoyed with George. George, she would sigh. Why do you always say dine saw for everything? It's so boring. Hmm. Well, one day, Peppa, George, Mummy, and Daddy got into their little car and drove to the new house on top of a little green hill. Peppa was very excited about the new house, but she was very excited about the very wet and extremely muddy puddles that they had in the yard. She loved puddles. Can we go jumping in the muddy puddles? It's nearly time for bed, Peppa, said Mommy. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to jump in. Look at those muddy puddles, though. They're just waiting for her at the top of the hill, aren't they? Peppa and George woke up very early the next day and went to find Mummy and Daddy Pig. <laughs> Can we please go outside and jump in the muddy puddles, Peppa asked. We're going to Granny and Grandpa Pigs today. You can jump in the muddy puddles there. Oh, good, because they have great muddy puddles over at Grandma's house. After breakfast, it was time to leave. So Peppa and her family jumped into their little red car. Ready, ex Daddy Pig cheerily? Oh, yes, Daddy Pig, everyone answered. Then let's go. Down the hill they went and started driving. Yippee, said Peppa. She couldn't wait to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house and jump in those big muddy puddles. Well, the whole family soon arrived at Grandpa's house, and Peppa and George were very, very excited. They loved going to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, said Peppa. Ga, 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 dine so, said George. Hello, my little ones, said Granny Pig. Please come inside. Granny, said Peppa, can I jump in the muddy puddles, please? I think Grandpa Pig has something to show you first, Peppa, she said. Peppa was a little disappointed because she wanted to jump in the puddles right away. Kids are like that, right? They want some everything right now. Well, Grandpa took George to his vegetable garden. Look at his scarecrow over there. This is where I grow my vegetables, Grandpa said. First, I plant some seeds. Oh, can we eat some of your rummy vegetables, Grandpa? She asked. We have to wait for them to grow a bit bigger, said Grandpa. Oh, said Pepper. And there he is putting the seeds on the ground. 
and into the holes and waters them, and then they grow up to be great big vegetables. Suddenly, while they're outside, they heard a loud bang. Oh dear, said Grandpa Pig. That was thunder. That means it's going to rain. We should all hurry inside before we get wet quick. Peppa Pig and George and Grandpa Pig ran inside as fast as they could, just as it started to rain. Peppa and George watched the rain splish, splash, splish, splash down the window, and George started to cry. Don't cry, George, said Peppa. It's only rain. It won't hurt you. But George wasn't crying because it was raining. He was crying because he'd lost Mr. Dinosaur. He looked upstairs. He looked downstairs, even in the toilet, but he couldn't find Mr. Dinosaur anywhere. Just then, Peppa had another idea. Peppa ran outside and found a very, very wet Mr. Dinosaur in Grandpa's muddy vegetable garden. She ran back inside, gave Mr. Dinosaur to George, and George was very happy. Well, the rain has stopped, cried Peppa. What can we do now? I have a very good idea, said Daddy Pig, and he pointed outside. And what was he pointing at? That's right, muddy puddles. Hooray, hooray, cheered Peppa, seeing the muddiest puddles ever. She'd been so busy looking at Grandpa's vegetables and searching for Mr. Dinosaur, she'd forgotten all about her favorite thing, jumping in puddles. Peppa loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles more than anything in the whole wide world. All of Peppa's family loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles more than anything, anything in the whole wide world. And there they are, the whole family jumping up in muddy puddles and they're saying, oink, 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 suey, suey, the end. Well, that was a good start to our new Peppa Pig book. We'll be back with another one tomorrow. Until then, be good to your folks this week, please, because they have you all week. And I'm missing you guys. Sure to be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.